right. So we got some cool stuff lined up for you tonight. Uh, we're going to go over just kind of who we are, where we've been, and that type of stuff. And then we got some pretty awesome announcements, too. So uh, hang in with us. Uh, we're only going to be here for an hour and a half. I'm kidding. We're probably going to just be about 10, 15 minutes. So we'll, we'll be quick, all right? So uh, move forward. Let's talk about... Uh, all right. So first, we want to thank everybody for showing up here uh, every Tuesday and Thursday. We're here from 6 to 12, right? And every single one of you guys looks pretty familiar to me. I know you guys have been supporting us from the beginning. Uh, so we want to thank you. Obviously, once again, thank you to our partners. We got the Twitches, the Astro Gamings, the people that have been with us from the very beginning. Uh, we got some awesome other partners in our Red Bulls. And we got some other fun ones to talk about later tonight, too. So we want to thank them. And obviously, we just thank HTC as well. So um, let's, let's talk about what we're going to talk about. Uh, one is, who are we? What, what, what the hell am I? And wh what's going on? You guys are at the Foundry, but just what exactly is going on? Um, we're going to talk about the showdown news and what we're all about and what we got lined up. And then we have some awesome things lined up for you guys while we're working together with our partners. So uh, we're excited to talk about that too. So let's move on to just who the hell are we, right? You guys, you're at the foundry. You see people walking around with showdown shirts and people kind of go, oh, what the hell is going on? We've been called the Nerd Palace, Gamer Bar, uh, whatever, right? But the one thing we've never been called is boring. So that's kind of cool. So we appreciate that, even though our name's never gotten right up until now. Uh, what we're called most often is the Foundry, and actually there's an important distinction. Um, we're actually two separate organizations. Uh, we are Showdown, Showdown Entertainment. We do a few different things, and one of which is uh, we host game events. Uh, we do, like, uh, the game nights that you see here, we do tournaments, uh, corporate events, private parties, uh, and the like. So we do those. Um, but another one is uh, video production. We actually have some pretty cool stuff that we've done already in the past. Maybe you didn't know that we did. And then we have some stuff lined up even tomorrow. Uh, but really, we're, we're, there's two parts of us uh, that we are, and most people don't know what the hell we are in to begin with. So um, who we are as an organization, we're first and foremost, we're a bunch of gamers, right? We're just like everybody else here. Everybody just enjoys games, loves celebrating games. Uh, we're social, right? We, we're, we're not just the, what's that, that stupid thing that's sitting at home at your damn parents' basement bullshit? Now, maybe you still do that, I don't know. But you're still here, and that means you're a social person, and that's, that makes you awesome, Okay. Uh, and, and lastly, um, we're here because we're looking for different things to do in the evening. I, I mean, there's only so many times you can go to a sports bar even though you don't give a damn at about sports. Or you go bowling, you can only get so drunk and throw so many gutter balls, right? There's got to be something else you can do in the evening, and that's kind of why we created Game Night. Um, so where it came from, the idea was uh, when we were younger, we used to go to arcades. And uh, that's where we used to congregate, and that's what was fun. Um, I, and what I've done is I got a photo up there. That's, that's in Redwood City. I don't know if you guys ever go to the, or did go to Malibu over there, the OG spot, right? Um, things have changed, right? Um, that place used to be awesome. Before consoles outbeat the carcades and all the fun stuff, we used to go there, and it was epic. It was fun. You used to waste so many quarters at that place, right? And you kind of look now, and... Malibu's gone. Redwood City, my own stomping grounds, gone. And to make matters worse, they're building a prison right next to it. It's just depressing, right? You gotta go, there's gotta be a place that you can go to enjoy games now that also we're adults too. Um, so that's kind of where game nights came about was what do we do as adults to get together and have some fun? Um, originally, we started with Tuesday game nights. See some uh, original Tuesday guys here. If you guys came before Thursdays even existed, raise your hand. <laughs> I love you. Uh, so Tuesdays were awesome, right? We started it off. Uh, first two nights, it started off pretty modest, right? It was uh, 50 to 100 people the first two weeks. And then we took a photo on a Monday and posted it to Reddit of this space. I think this is right around the time Twitch plays Pokemon was pretty crazy, too. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, and wouldn't you know it, we made the front page of Reddit that day on a Monday. And the following day, so the past two days, we barely broke 100 people. 
The day after the Reddit post to making the front page of all of Reddit, we had 350 people show up. And that was awesome. But what's even more awesome is to this date, we really hasn't gone below that number. So it just shows you that as long as you guys know what the hell is going on, you're going to keep coming. Um, the nights got crazier, busier. Started 350, 400, 450, 500. Eventually, it became unsustainable, and we said, holy crap, what do we do? We can't fit you guys in here. We bootstrapped this thing. I mean, the N64 over there, I had the Mario Party that's up right there. I'm pretty certain I fought with my sisters over that game back 15 years ago, however long ago. We brought all of our own consoles over here. That's a friendship ender, by the way. Don't ever play that with friends. Um, and so we just bootstrapped everything, and we thought, we need another night. And so we brought up Thursdays. Uh, Thursdays were pretty awesome. Uh, there we go. So Thursdays had to happen. There was too many of you people on a Tuesday, and it was awesome. It was a great problem to have, so we created Thursdays. And so Thursdays started slow, 100, 200, 300 people. And eventually what happened was Tuesdays got surpassed by Thursdays, and we ended up going... Holy crap, we have an awesome problem again. There's too many of you people. Uh, what do we do? So we thought, all right, well, you know, let's try something new. Let's, let's expand to San Jose. Uh, we're going to try something different. Uh, we're feeling like, you know, God, we're just feeling great. Let's try something else. So we went to San Jose. Uh, and, and so now, as of today, uh, we have three game nights a week, which is awesome. And it's a kind of a testament to you guys' support. So thank you very much. Um, so there's some other things that maybe some of you guys just keep coming in. You don't even know this, but we try to always build value for our game nights. We're always trying to upgrade your experience. Um, you know, there was too often times you just continue to go to these places like the casino, uh, the arcades, or the casinos, woo, uh, the arcades, and it was just kind of the same old, same old. So we try to incorporate some more value. Uh, so we uh, implemented a five stars program. They're actually our neighbors right around the corner. It's a free rewards program. Every time you're showing up, you're receiving 10 points. Just by signing in, um, checking in with us, you're receiving 10 points. For every five visits or 50 points, uh, you receive a free game night. So you get in for free. So we found that uh, we had no idea if this was going to work out, and you guys really were receptive of it. Um, if you do not currently take advantage of it, oops, if you don't take advantage of it right now, you should be. It's free to sign up. You go to the front on any given regular night. You put in your phone number, and we provide you with points every single time you visit. Uh, we also do some pretty other cool things called uh, like exclusive deals and the like too. So uh, free entry from six to seven on random nights. So you really should sign up for our five stars program. So let's move on to there we are on Tuesdays and we're really competitive people. I don't like to just play games. I want to beat the crap out of you. Okay, I want to show you that I'm better than you. So we started tournaments. Um, this really kind of came around uh, with our neighbors and, and great partners and friends, Twitch. Uh, Twitch has been amazing. It's really been kind of a, a catalyst for us of really showing who we are, what we do, what we're all about. Um, and our first effort was uh, kind of my original love, uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee. Every single Tuesday night, we have a Super Smash Bros. Melee tournament where we have some amazing players in Northern California, and sometimes that come and visit. They come out and they show up. We broadcast the events. We have anywhere from 75 to 100 people showing up every single Tuesday. And we broadcast that on our channel. Those guys are amazing. They're some of the best players you ever come across. And this game is so much fun to watch. And it's what, 12, 15 years old. It's amazing. So then we thought, all right, so Tuesdays are going really well. We got a lot of, we got a lot of people that are really participating. Things are good. Um, we got Thursdays too. Why don't we do something on Thursdays? And then we come to find out that uh, Street Fighter actually is pretty popular. And uh, so we said, screw it. Let's do, a, let's do Street Fighter. <laughs> yeah, Carolyn. Let's do Street Fighter. So we do Street Fighter tournaments every single Thursday. Um, it's an awesome thing. We appreciate all the Street Fighter guys coming out. Uh, we broadcast that every Thursday. Yeah, you guys know. Um, and it just turned out amazing. So for, for a few months there, we were having a broadcast Tuesdays and Thursdays. We had anywhere between 50 to 100 competitors live streaming this thing on Twitch, and we get 15, 2,000 viewers every single night. So whether you think that there's just a few hundred people here, you're also experiencing this along with some people at home. So that's pretty cool too. Um, it didn't come up till about a few months later that we said, you know, we love Smash Bros. So what if we introduced something else? 
And then we came up with Come On A Band, which is our Super Smash Bros. 4 tournament as well. Um, holy crap. Uh, three tournaments a week has been just a godsend for us. Those guys, the Smash Bros. guys, they show up in mass. We're getting 100 people a week competing, and they take up particular parts of this place, and you can't walk. It's shoulder to shoulder. It's incredible. They're hype. They're yelling. And some of these people, you guys don't really care or pay attention to it, but you know those guys are cheering. So we want to thank them as well. So we have three tournaments weekly um, that we just couldn't be happier. Thank you guys for participating, showing up every single week and supporting us. But we're not done. Okay, so we got some new stuff that we're trying out, guys. Uh, we thought, all right, well, up until this point, you guys have been so supportive. We've got some new options and opportunities. Let's try something different. Um, we're going to be doing and announcing uh, our Game Fives brand. So Game Nights are Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Game Fives are something a little bit different. Some of you may have came to a few of our Friday night initiatives, not here, but at another location. Maybe you came and experienced that Game Vibes is a music-oriented event. We brought out live streams, video games, really based around some fun music. And it was really a, it was a blast. Um, it turned out pretty awesome. Um, it, since then, under the Game Vibes brand, we've done some pretty other cool stuff. Uh, most recently, we helped uh, co-host the Evo After Party, and that was amazing. We brought some consoles out there. We have some other things lined up, too. Um, some things coming up under the Game Vibes brand. We're going to be celebrating the Capcom After Party. The Capcom Cup is going to be here, guys, after the Sony PlayStation experience. So it's going to be at the Foundry. It's going to be uh, a pretty awesome stuff. Um, and so one other thing that we thought was, like, wouldn't it be cool if we had games and we live streamed it, but we should bring some really talented uh, just people on board. Some people are known in the, maybe in the gaming industry or are very good at video games. So what we did was we went and um, reached out to Grimecraft, who's kind of known as being a, you know, just being really ingrained in the video game industry, but also ingrained in music. So he's now part of our uh, group, our Game Vibes brand. So we're super excited to have him. You just heard his music actually last night if you were here. So we couldn't be happier to introduce to the world our Game Vibes brand. Um, the gist of it is, if there's a convention, if there is a con, if there is any type of after party or regular event that you're looking for, we can come to you anywhere in the United States. We will bring video game consoles, we will live stream it, and we will provide the talent. So it's pretty awesome and all-inclusive, and it's something that I think that we're gonna, you're going to see a lot of here in the coming future. So that's one of our new efforts. Um, you know... One of the sad things is, is uh, we're, we're also not afraid to fail, guys. We've tried a lot of different things. What if we, you know, put single-player games out? Are people going to be receptive to that? What we found was, is our recent effort in San Jose, wasn't, it just didn't prove that fruitful. Um, you know, tonight, we had to shut it down to celebrate tonight here in San Francisco. But what's not known is uh, we're actually not going to be hosting in San Jose anymore. So it's a little sad. Sorry to say, you know, uh, we, we, we try to make it work. We explored it. Um, you know, there's not much else to be said, but uh, we do have some, a, a silver lining, though, okay? So that was last week was our very last San Jose. Moving forward, there will not be one, but there is a silver lining. And that's because you guys are sitting at the very first ever Wednesday game night here in San Francisco. Moving forward, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, weeklies, okay? So... Couldn't be happier. Uh, you know, we're more than willing to kind of uh, eat our pride a little bit and figure out San Jose's didn't work, but we couldn't be more excited to be here. We are going to do something slightly different. Um, not really committing to a weekly tournament, uh, per se, because we have a few of those already. We're going to be doing some random stuff. Guys, um, I love classic games. So why, not we, why don't we just try and do some cool stuff, too? we got Pokemon Stadium here. We've been doing that for a year and a half. Why don't we live stream a Pokemon Stadium tournament, right? Um, why don't we do uh, Rocket League? Um, like, uh, why not? What? Shit, we got a Halo 2 networked over there. Let's keep doing some cool stuff like that. We're going to start live streaming random stuff. What we want you guys to do, though, is we want to hear from you. What do you guys want us to do on these Wednesdays? They're kind of open. They're, uh, we're going to just play around with it. Let's have fun. Uh, I don't know. Just you name it. Uh, not the two. I mean, we're not going to do Qbert. Well, maybe I don't know if you want Qbert, but we're not going to do that. But we're we're going to do some cool stuff. So, 
we got some more stuff to talk about. Um, what do I got up on that wall? We're expanding. Uh, so we learned, <laughs> we learned that, we learned a lot from San Jose. Now, while we're not going to be there this year, um, we are coming to Seattle. Um, we've got way too many good opportunities. We have some amazing team members joining. Uh, we are identifying a spot right now, and you can expect us to be there early 2016. So game nights are going to be in another place. Now, you guys out here are probably like, yeah, hey, whatever, I don't care. But people at home are like, holy shit, you guys are lucky, right? Uh, so we're excited to announce Seattle. But we're going to be doing two more by the end of 2016. We're going to be in Los Angeles and San Diego as well. Uh, we, we're starting off on the West Coast. Uh, we appreciate everybody's support. We've got a lot of support kind of all along the United States. People have been asking us to come out and, and show up. But really, these are our three targets that you're going to see in 2016 coming out of Showdown. We couldn't be more excited. Uh, obviously, we're going to be here, but we're going to keep growing. Because you guys are supporting us. You're really making it seem like this is actually something that can work. So what else do we got? We have some new stuff. Um, next Tuesday, we're starting our Team NVIDIA initiative. And what that is is every single Tuesday from 6 to 9, we're going to be live streaming a Team NVIDIA using the Shield TV. I actually have a copy right over there. This gentleman's plan. Don't be nervous. Everybody's watching you right now. Um, we're going to bring out, roll out a 40 inch TV with our live streaming service. It's going to be right over here. And we're going to get you guys to be the star of the stream. Okay? I'm going to be running out to every single one of you. And you can't run away from me because I will catch your ass. And you're going to be on stream. And we're going to see just how good you are at particular games on Android. So we're really excited to be joining Team NVIDIA. It's kind of a nice another step. So we're at this point having four broadcasts a week, two on Tuesday, two on Thursday. Couldn't be happier to be joining the Team NVIDIA team. So we got some other stuff. Uh, the FGC probably knows this game, but we're going to be doing something. <laughs> we are doing a world first Rising Thunder tournament here at the Foundry, September 9th. We're not messing around, man. Starts at 7. It's going to be on our channel. So we have an initiative with these guys, with Ready Entertainment. Awesome team. Great things. Uh, you know, I think that's part of the nice thing about our Wednesdays. It's going to offer us the freedom to do some fun stuff. Rising Thunder is going to be one of those fun things. We're going to be the world first tournament, and there's going to be tournaments with frequency here. So let's help them grow because they're still in alpha stage right now, but there's a lot of cool things that they've got going for them. We couldn't be more excited to do with them right now. So uh, we're looking forward to it. We hope you have, we hope you can give them your support. We know you guys are playing their game right now and challenging everybody and having fun, but this is going to be a thing. So get ready, start practicing. What else we got? All right, uh, Smash 4. Guys, we didn't forget about you. Um, we got a charity tournament. This thing's lined up for October 17th. It's about damn time that we started doing our own damn tournaments. October 17th is going to be our very first Smash 4 tournament on a weekend. Uh, some cool details on this guy are open to all ages. It's a Saturday. Um, it's going to a good cause. It's uh, Oakland Children's Hospital Extra Life Charity. Showdown, uh, our commitment to charity events here, especially in the Bay Area, it's very strong. Um, I know personally it's one of my initiatives I want to go and support. The kids, I can sometimes forget that they're even in a, a shitty situation just by putting a video game in front of them. It's really powerful. So what we're going to be doing is, is hosting a Smash 4 tournament October 17th to benefit these kids that are not as fortunate of us to be here right now having fun. So we hope you can support us on that one. It's going to be uh, an event that you could come, uh, donate, participate in, have a blast. So we couldn't be more excited to do that. There's also a $1,000 prize pool, so that's kind of cool. Um, and uh, gosh, man, it just, it's going to be here, and it's all ages. So please support that one too, guys. That one's really near and dear to our heart, and we hope the Smash community really uh, gets excited about that one. Let's talk about why we're here, though. We're here because of HTC, because they're awesome, because they're doing cool things in the, in the gaming community, in the esports community. 
we're here because of ACC. We're here because of our next effort. And uh, it's our most, it's our uh, upcoming effort, September 19th. We announced a $12,000 prop bonus prize pool about a month or two ago, and the community went wild. This is something that we couldn't be more excited to talk about uh, and continue to talk about. So you need to follow all of our social media information if you want to continue to hear some things. So the things that you already know are up on the wall right now. But, you know, there's a few things we haven't done yet. Uh, we haven't announced the official shirt. Um, let's show it. So that's the official shirt of the evening. Uh, we're excited to see that. But there's kind of like a nice little thing involved with that. And that's 50% um, of, the, of the shirt sales are actually going to go towards the pop bonus for that event. So it's kind of, it's pretty cool. We thought, well, how can we be creative more so than we've already been? And we thought anything sold related to this event is going to add to the prize pool. Very a la uh, Dota has kind of done this very recently with TI5. So we thought, why the hell can't we do this with Melee? And we're excited to say that any shirt sold is going to contribute. So, finally, we have a web store. It's launching, what the hell is it launching? September 12th? Yes, September 12th is our store. It is launching, finally, if you guys want to get some showdown gear, the one that I'm wearing right now, you guys can support us, you're going to be able to get it online. We're a recent partnership with Gaming Generations. We're going to be more excited about that. So, of the day of the event, our shirts are going to be made available. That's pretty cool. Um, but also any showdown shirt as well as HCC is going to go towards the prize pool of the tournament. So, awesome. If you want to support us, if you want to support HCC and the efforts, you want to rock a pretty badass t-shirt, it's all going to go to the prize pool. It's going to be pretty sweet. Um, obviously, we're going to have some stuff here available as well. So, if you're not going to buy online, we're going to have the gear available at the event. So, uh, let's go over some additional things and then we're almost done. I promise. I promise. We got uh, top 16 HTC is flying out the top 16 people in the world to come compete here. It's pretty amazing. We're going to, uh, one other badass thing is venue fees usually don't go towards much. You get in, you pay to get in, whatever. This is kind of the first time that I'm aware of that your $15 to get in is actually going to get you food and a drink. You're not going to have to run off and you're going to have to worry about your food. You're actually going to get something for getting your ass in here and participating. So that's pretty awesome. Somewhat unheard of. Um, it's going to be available. All the information is available on Smash GG. Uh, awesome service. Those guys are amazing. You should see some of the stuff they're doing. They're going to have more amazing stuff lined up uh, for the day of the event. And then lastly, uh, nobody knows this, we're going to have two streams instead of one so that it's always unfortunate when you have some really cool stuff going off stream and you go, crap, what's going on over there? We're going to have two streams. So overall, guys, we couldn't be more excited to announce all that cool stuff. We're going to get out of here, but remember, we're going to see you September 19th. We're going to see you October 17th. We're going to see you all the other damn days, I said, but thank you so much for attending tonight. Remember, moving forward, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, we appreciate your support. Have a lovely time. Thank you for listening to my crazy ass. Adios. Not only kills, it ampules.